to preface this uh, YouTube video very quickly, show you where I am, Paris Lake State Park, Paris, California. I'm here at uh, Big Rock. This is sort of my local hangout. Uh, I wanted to uh, just give you somewhat of an idea of uh, how lucky I've been in my 50 some years of climbing and uh, how lucky I've been uh, through most of my life. And uh, my body's held up, my health is good. A few little senior problems now and then, which some of you older folks uh, know. But I want to show you just a few seconds of some of the places that I've been and how lucky I've been to be capable enough to uh, do some of them overseas and uh, much of it in the US, the Alps, the Himalayas, uh, some of it uh, backpacking, some of it uh, climbing, some of it trekking. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it and uh, it'll give you a little idea of some of the philosophical things that I think in my old age when I'm climbing. So I don't know uh, whether this is gonna relate to anything, but uh, at least I'm having fun. I feel good. I know when to quit and I uh, hope you enjoy the, the uh, video. This is not an endorsement of any equipment that I use, and particularly the way that I climb and the way I rope solo climb. We volunteer for this, Ed. How come we volunteer? We don't have to do this. Here. Oh, God, that was a piece of cake. What was I whining for? Traversing over to left flight. Not too hard. Not a big deal. Everything's here. Well, I'm right at the bottom of left flight. Raven nest. That was occupied a couple years ago. All the junk is still here. I don't know when this crack runs out. Maybe it's right here. Oh yeah. Her foothold. No hand holds. Shit. Half a knuckle under the flake. Oop, get cocky. Don't get too cocky. Under, under cling. I've done this dozens of to dozens. I've probably done it hundreds of times, but still got to be safe. Anything can happen anytime to anybody. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! As my grandson would say, Yeehaw, Grandpa! Runny nose, bad back. Whatever comes, just deal with it. Oh God, I used to do this. Used to do it fast, do it well, and never had a rope. Never gave it a thought. And now, I give it a lot of thought. A whole lot of thought. 
extremely rough it reminds me of Joshua Tree same kind you can bury your cheater shoes your sticky rubber on almost anything and if you put on the right pressure at the right angle you can go straight up body's holding up well legs are holding up back's not bothering me at all up here still climbing but I'm getting older and uh, less less dumb as one of my gym friends said and it's for all the young climbers but this is a no-no and I'm comfortable with it so that's just the way it is when you get old you get you get really you think you know it all but you don't you still take chances this is a risky sport anyway so I don't think I've ever fallen on it of course I'm ready to uh, accept the responsibility of falling anytime I don't ever think about it but I have to know that's a possibility but I don't ever dwell on it free soloing is what I used to do I don't do anymore I haven't done it probably for six years seven years it's a mental game all mental. I've done these routes. If you can do them even leading where you go first, of course that's where all the risk is. This is like following with a belayer up above me. I'm always safe. Leading your leading every pitch is you have to lead, you have to go up, be confident. It's more of a mental trip, but free soloing is all mental. Every bit of it's mental. If you've done the route and you're capable, why can't you do it without a rope? Aha, uh -huh. and the mind kicks in. When I get older, I probably won't be doing this. Somebody will be hauling me up, but next month, I'm 87, I'm gonna keep going at this level as long as I can. Yep. Erase the doubt. It's amazing when you erase doubt. If you don't have any fear, you can do a hell of a lot. Oops. The longest run out on the route. And it can get a little dicey coming straight up. Straight up from this bolt right there. Straight underneath it is a 20 foot run out and you're facing a 40 foot fall. Don't like to think about that, which I don't. Now, speaking of hung up, see what I mean? I'm not paying attention, I'm talking, and I'm not much of a talker. I get the rope hung up under that flake. If you get above it, you're, you've got a problem. Anyway, I've had problems before. Catch my breath. You youngsters don't understand that, but the oldsters gotta check, catch your breath once in a while. Well, I'm on Ed's rope now. We know Ed's rope. It's very sketchy, it's very small. I'm not sure it's gonna even work at all. It looks like a 60 meter and not a 70, so he's sort of a cheapskate. He didn't want to pay for the extra 10 meters. What am I missing here? Hell, Ed. Ah, whoa. What's my problem? Ah. Ah, shit. That's the most trouble I've ever had. Nothing worked. <sighs>